I'm so happy that you are with us today. As you all know, it has been a challenging year for Samsung. Today, we are proud to mark the beginning of a new era of smartphone design. An era without edges or limits. I give you the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. Hey, what's up everybody? Everyone knows that last year had been one of the most difficult for Samsung in their recent history. I mean, unless you were under a rock, you had to know about the exploding battery issue of the Galaxy Note 7. Given this tragedy, Samsung would ultimately end up delaying the launch of the S8. Now that was unfortunate for us, especially us Note fans out there, but I totally get it. See, for Samsung, the Galaxy S series was the company's first attempt to take on the iPhone, and yes, that took them three years to do, but they finally changed the game. Today, the S8 has been unboxed, and Samsung aims to prove that they're still king when it comes to phablets. Why is this important to you or me? Well, that's because Samsung says that we're entering in this new era when it comes to smartphone design, and that's all fine and dandy. Samsung has always been in the lead when it comes to their feature-packed devices. I mean, if you've got an Edge display and now the new Infinity display, it's definitely gonna stand out in the crowd. I like the fact that they're super vivid. I like the new design that they're going for. It's just for me, when I put on my consumer hat and I'm looking at the Infinity display, what we don't hear about at these unpacked events is the fact that it's gonna be virtually next to impossible when it comes to protecting this display. So don't get me wrong here. I'm not trying to bash Samsung or any of the manufacturers that make tempered glass screen protectors or cases or anything like that. I'm an early adopter. In fact, I've already purchased my S8 and S8 Plus. You're definitely gonna see them on this channel and I can't wait to get them in. Why do I say that? If you've been following my channel, then you know that we've been on a journey to find a protector for the S7 and the S7 Edge. I looked last year for more than six months. I looked at so many protectors last year, I can't tell you how many there were. As a consumer, again, there's always a sacrifice that needs to be made because some of these protectors had issues around touch sensitivity. Lots of them had issues in terms of actually being able to pair them with a particular case, which is pretty big. You've got this all glass and metal phone. The back is completely made of glass. You drop this thing, more than likely it's gonna shatter. We all know that Samsung's got the largest share of the market when it comes to Android devices. There's definitely not gonna be a shortage in terms of accessories for the S8 or the S8 Plus. I just wish that Samsung would drive the third-party manufacturers to innovate just as rapidly as they are. From a consumer standpoint, we want to make sure that our devices are going to be protected, whether that's an OEM accessory that comes directly from Samsung, or whether it's a third-party accessory that we buy aftermarket. In the end, we just want to make sure that when we're shelling out eight, dollars $900 for a cell phone, that we don't end up with a cracked or unusable device. Yes, Corning's been working on Gorilla Glass 5 and they're saying that they're saying with that we get protection up to 1.6 meters. That's all great. But we know that if your phone hits the ground or a particular surface at the right angle, nine times out of 10, it's probably gonna crack. So if you're getting this phone, I'm here to remind you today that there's definitely gonna be some trade-offs when it comes to protecting your Infinity display. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I'm saying that right now is the time to go ahead and click that subscribe button because this is a series you're definitely not gonna wanna miss. I'll be here to find the best options that are out there in terms of protecting this phone. Let me help to save you some time and who knows, maybe even some money. Just like last year, if there's a protector to be had for the S8 and the S8 Plus, we're gonna find it. So this brings us to the end of today's video. If you guys have questions or comments, leave those down below and we can talk about it. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you in my next one.